Gang's all here. Seton is back from Dublin, and he brought back a gift. He brought back an accent. What are you talking about, Danny? <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever get into a situation, though, where you just didn't know, or you pick out, like, one every four words that you understand? Like, good crack. Or crack. Well, a lot of uh, conversations with, like, taxi drivers and things like that. Yeah. Where they're like, oh, you been to this or this or this? On straight, and then you're done, and then on straight. And, and I kept thinking, the guy keeps reminding me that he's straight. I'm straight. And I'm thinking, wait, what, are you, are you, what is on straight? And he goes, on straight. Bring in Reggie Miller. Carmelo Anthony got player of the week. Now, um, I didn't know that. <laughs> Excuse me. Something was in my throat. Sorry. Yes, what you were saying. Shouldn't they have comeback player of the week? Because yeah, I, I'm looking at some of the numbers other people are putting up, and I don't know. I mean, Harden <laughs> averaged 37. <laughs> Come on, man. Luka averaged 39. Doncic was averaging a triple-double. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. It's a nice Great. little story. It's good. It's, it's a, a fabulous story. It's a and nice story. I love Mello and I'm glad he's back. But come on, man. Probably not fair, but we do judge quarterbacks more than any other position. And the bottom line is wins and losses, how you did in the playoffs, how many Super Bowl wins. And because of that, fans are really tough on the Vikings quarterback, Kirk D. Cousins, for his primetime record. He fell to 0 8 in Monday night games after the Seahawks beat Minnesota last night. On the flip side, Russell Wilson Jr. the third knows how to win. Feast your eyes. Welcome to Central Bakersfield, a place where you might live. This could be where your kids go to school. This may be where you worship. And this is your television reporter, Carl Mandick. Boom. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, no. It's Strong like statement with the belt buckle. The mandic is growing. It's like <laughs> coming right at you. Dick move. Yeah. Coaching odds. Cowboys coaching odds according to Las Vegas. Urban Meyer is your favorite to be the next head coach of the Dallas Cowboys. Followed by Josh McDaniels, Lincoln Riley. There are some miracle odds. 10,001, <laughs> Tony Romo. Jerry Jones himself, Jimmy Johnson, and Barry Switzer at 50,000 to 1. Oh, my God. Jimmy Johnson, that's a good one. That ain't happening. That ain't happening for a variety of reasons. How about Jerry Jones himself? I, well, it, basically, that's what it is. I mean, it, it, there's like a puppet government, and, and Jerry wants to be able to be the coach and the GM and uh, the owner. As you know, I was in Ireland, and I wanted to bring something that's back for where you, you Dan. Yeah. And I did a tour of the Jameson factory. What do, you, what do you got for me? I was a few drinks in when I got you this very special Ooh. bottle customized. And Fuego. Ooh, it's ooh, ooh. Uh, unfortunately, it's ooh, Fuego. That looks like it's Gaelic for in Fuego. Right. right. Yeah, that's what it is. Ufue, yeah. Ooh, Fuego. Tune in to the Dan Patrick Show weekday mornings on Audience or the DP Show app.